Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Rank Roulette series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and we are kicking off this week with this team that you can see on the screen in front of you that was thrown out kindly by our roulette wheel yesterday from your good nominations that you put up on the channel last week. Uh, remember that there will be a post going up asking you for nominations for next week's team. That will be going up tomorrow morning, so keep an eye out for that and do get your nominations in. But remember, we've still got our four bonus buttons that we can activate come tomorrow's episode, so we might change up the team, but we had a great start to the week yesterday with the team. So if you haven't seen that already and you'd like to go back and see how we kicked off the week with this squad, you can click up here. I'll put a little card in for you. You can go check that out and then come back into this one or maybe check it out after whichever you would like but definitely check out game two it was great and diggersby just is it just showed why it's and threw the question up why am i not used more in this format did so much work and really won us the game in the end along with ditto as well so it was really good i'm looking forward to getting into today's episode i think the main things that i want to do today is bring that mega me 2x a little bit more because we haven't featured it yet at all so if we can feature that today that would be amazing the other pokemon we've kind of had little bits uh, here and there from all of them so far and putting in a lot of work maybe the requires and needs a bit more time but other than that uh, they've all been doing good so let's hop over to this screen let's see what I rate oh rankings not bad okay okay it's like unknown territory we were above 1500 finally so uh, let's I'm in a good mood let's go Necrozma version 2 obviously some of you out there think I overplay it and I definitely do you're not wrong but the hype is just so good when that music and even when I'm like editing the videos and stuff like this I'm like ah, oh, jamming out <laughs> the Crossbow version 2 in the background I love it I think it's such a good suitable battle theme it's so good it's definitely the more one of the more iconic ones that we've had in the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon um, titles and I'm really looking forward to seeing what other tracks we get because we always get some really really great tracks each and every generation so Sword and Shield coming up will be incredible I think this is probably the highest ranked player that we've uh, we've ever had on our, our Road to Ranked uh, Roulette series, isn't it? So we better get into team preview and not waste time and take this serious. Okay, so our first opponent today from Japan with a 17-13 rating is playing a Rayoga team combined with Mega Metagross. Likely the second Mega on the team might not be Mega, um, but likely is, uh, with the Incineroar, Mimikyu, and Tapu Koko. So we've got Terrain Control from the Tapu Koko. Speed Control is likely going to be just Trick Room from that Mimikyu, supporting probably the Kyogre here. Uh, you've got Fake Out support from the Incineroar to help with that setup. Um, Metagross obviously going to be the Mega in and, and then the Rayquaza there, uh, doing all Rayquaza things. So, um, hmm, what have we got that could do well against the Mimikyu? Not very much, I will say that. Um, but we will bring Ditto, so we can have like three Restricteds. And I'm gonna bring Mega Mewtwo X, I think, to this one. Uh, I just think we probably should bring it. Um, okay, let's bring Inferno because we need the the Fake Out turn one. Um, Oh, this is this is so tough. This is really tough. I'm gonna bring Rayquaza up top. I'm gonna bring Ditto on the back, and I'm gonna bring Mewtwo in behind it. In behind them all. Uh, Diggersby would be a good shout here, but I want to bring our restricted uh, Mega Mewtwo X and Rayquaza. So I'm kind of forcing our options here over everything else. So. Let's see how we get on. I'm 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 feeling optimistic. I'm feeling good about this. We've got the, the the crazy white screen that has seeped away, and we can get into this one. But I'm feeling good about this. I think we can do some some work. It's just the mimicry worries me a little bit because we can't really prevent the trick room. No, we cannot. Um. But we can fake out. Uh, I mean, is it better to. Like, we definitely fake out the Incineroar for sure. Is it better to switch out into Ditto? I don't think so. I think we just attack. I mean, we got Crunch, but I feel like Dragon Ascenting is probably. Hmm, is it? Is it the better option? Um, hmm. Just we take the defensive drop then, don't we? Uh, let's see. 
Let's go Dragon Ascent into... Uh, it's really tough, actually, because I don't... I don't really want to lock into Crunch. Um, but I'm probably going to have to so we don't take the, the drop, to be honest, like over everything else. Like, I just don't want to get into a position where Rayquaza is just going to get, like, knocked out by um, a play rough. Like, if the Trick Room goes up, and that's what I imagine, if the Mimikyu just goes for a play rough straight away or a Twinkle Tackle, then we're pretty screwed. So there's a fake out, we'll stop the Incineroar doing anything this turn, there's a crunch, we'll break the disguise on the Mimikyu. Um, see what it does. I'm hoping it goes Trick Room here yeah, though. That would be that would be better for us. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Now I, I really feel like we probably see Kyogre come in. Um so I don't want to go overheat into Mimikyu yet. I'm going to go for close combat into Incineroar. And I think uh, I'll bring in... I'll bring in Ditto. I'll bring in Ditto. Like me too could have been a nice option there to switch into. Um, but it probably goes down if we see a ghost type attack. So there's a U-turn. It's into our Infernape. If this is Kyogre, though, this is not not the worst. It is Kyogre. Okay. At least we get... Well, potentially we get a close combat into that slot. Potentially. But I think our main goal here would be trying to get through the Trick Room. Oh, I think we're going to lose Ditto. I was going to say get through the Trick Room and then if we can get Scarfed Primal Kyogre. Um, to kind of close this matchup it would make things a lot easier. Yeah, into Ditto. Sorry Ditto. Ditto goes down. So Ditto not really doing anything there, which is a little bit of a shame. Because it would have been really useful to get that Kyogre um, switch in for sure. Okay, um, well we need to be super careful now with our Rayquaza. I'm going to have to bring in uh, Me Too, I think, is the, the best option here. Um, do we need to go Mega Me Too? Because I think what I'll do is switch Incineroar, uh, Infernip <laughs> out into Rayquaza. Um, and I could go for Zen Headbutt into... Kyogre. Just thinking here, why can I not Mega Evolve with Me Too? I don't think we've got the Mega Stone on Me Too. Ah, oh, this is frustrating. Um, okay. Um, hmm. No, that's because we've got we brought Ray, haven't we? That's why. So we have got it on there. I'm just being really daft. Um. Do we go after the Kyogre? I'm going to go after the Mimikyu because we need to stop this trick room. I'm going to go Zen Headbutt into it. And I'm going to hope that Mewtwo can take at least a Water Spout. I don't know if we'll be able to. But it means the Mimikyu not attacking into Mewtwo either. We could have protected there. Play rough. Into Mewtwo. Okay, I don't think we take a Water Type attack. Nah. We definitely don't take a Water Spout. Oh, we do. Wow. If we can get the Mimikyu... Can we get the Mimikyu with a Zen Headbutt? Please! It's very close, it's very close. Um, okay. I might have to sack Inferno, to be honest. Because, is this the last turn of Trick Room? No, we've got two more. Hmm. Because there's no way... I mean, Play Rough could miss, right? Play Rough could definitely miss. Let's go for a Dragon Ascent. Let's try and get... Let's just say the play rough misses. That's what I'm going to have to bank on here, I think. Play rough missing. Uh, we'll protect Mewtwo as well, I think. Yeah, that makes more sense. Let's see. Play rough has to miss. Hmm, no. 
Now we needed to miss, and it hasn't, and it's really, yeah, it's not ideal, is it? Um, hmm. The team's so vulnerable to Trick Room, like, really vulnerable to Trick Room. I mean, we could have brought Butterfree and just went for the Sleep Powder shutdown, which would have maybe been a little bit better um, to do that, to be honest. We can fake out Kyogre for sure um, and go for another Zen Headbutt into the Mimikyu and then hope Play Rough misses again. In my experience, Play Rough is like one of those moves that's just so terrible, but we see the Shadow Sneak as well, guaranteeing it. And now we've got in, in Infernip versus the world. It's not going to happen, is it? Uh, at least the rain's gone now. Um, but there's not really much we can do here at all. Um, maybe Taunt would have been better as well on Infernape than the Faint. At least it gives us an option to shut down um, potential trick rooms or set up at least. But we'll try and get rid of the Mimikyu. Um, but it's all but over now. There's not really much we can do unless we see an Origin Pulse like Miss. No. We've got Bright Powder on Infernape as well. So it's like, well, I was really tied for options there. I didn't really know what <laughs> option to put on it. I thought Bright Powder might be handy. Boost the uh, the, the chances of us missing and dodging Precipice Blazes. Origin Pulses could be good. Um, that was my thinking. Logic anyway, but never mind. Good game to my opponent. I still think that was a one... Like, I think it really highlights there the vulnerability we've got to Trick Room, for sure. Um, 100%, like, categorically, like, Trick Room is a terrible matchup for us. And fair play to my opponent for really identifying that, uh, like, so early on and um, exploiting it. But at the same time, I think it really highlights areas where we can... Uh, and make changes to the team like little tweaks here and there where we can make things a little bit easier for ourselves and give us at least a chance against Trick Room but that's all to keep in mind and, and consider for changing up the team when we do that at a later stage but we've got our next opponent so we'll hop straight into it now okay our next opponent is running a team of Whimsicott, Rayquaza, Incineroar, Xerneas, Metagross, and Tapu Fini. So we've got an X-Ray combination here. Support and cast, we've got Tailwind uh, support from that Whimsicott predominantly. Uh, you're going to have another Mega in that uh, Mega Metagross. Incineroar there with Fake Out support as usual, and then the Tapu Fini with its terrain support. Um, hmm, let's see, what can we do here? Uh, Ditto again, going to be a Pokemon I do want to bring, I think, to this match. Uh, Infernip definitely for the fake out support. Uh, it does well against Incineroar and Metagross and the Whimsicott. Um, what else? Do we go Butterfree here? Because uh, all right, we can't sleep out of. Well, we could still still sleep out of the Rayquaza for sure. Um, but that's about it, and we can only match Tailwind, which I don't know. Is it going to be? It's going to be worth it. Probably. Since we get on court as well, which might not be that great. Um, Diggersby can be very good here. I'm going to definitely bring Diggersby. I'm going to bring Rayquaza, Mega Me. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to bring Diggersby, and I've got to click in quick with Ditto, and that's the form bringing. And I'm not falling for bringing Rayquaza and Mega Me to X in the same game again. I keep forgetting them. Like, I totally forgot. I was like, mind blanked. Why can't we Mega Evolve? Make me too wide. Uh, oh, it's yeah, because the Rayquaza, of course. And I haven't even thought about it till now. So it's a little bit, there's a little bit of conflict there that makes it a bit awkward to bring Broth Restricted in one game. Uh, unless we just use regular Ray, which is, ah, it's not really as good, is it? Um, okay, so we're going to see Tapu Fini and Incineroar come out for my opponent. Um, definitely fake out the Fini. We could maybe pull a switch into Diggersby. Um, to mourn if you if you felt like that might be a good thing to do, and then at least we would have access to um, doing some decent damage to both these Pokemon and threatening both of them pretty hard. Um, should we do that? Should we or not? Um, hmm. Or should we just stay in and go for a Dragon Ascent? 
It's just we're not going to be able to get... I just... Yeah, I just don't think we get the... Um, we don't get the Finny with... With the Dragon Ascent. Um... On minus one, not even banded, I don't think so. It's better if we preserve that rare for later. Uh, we'll fake out into the finny here. Uh, we'll probably see. Oh, U turn. Okay, that's fine. Into Digger's Beat. Oh, it does so much damage, doesn't it? Oh, we could have just went Dragon Ascent into the finny there. <laughs> oh, how frustrating. Uh, yeah, and Ray gonna come in now. Okay. Right. What can we do? I don't really want to make a switch here. I really don't. Um, I'm going to go for the double up into... Actually, I've got... Is the Rayquaza sashed? That's the question. Is it sashed? Um, quite possibly could be. I don't think it is. Um, I'm going to go for a close combat into the Finny just to get some damage off onto it. And I'm going to go for... Uh, the Groundium as well to get rid of Finny because I think once Finny goes down the support options kind of get a, a little bit restricted for my opponent uh, Okay, so we're seeing Finny switch out uh, Incineroar come in uh, Groundium will be decent there If we hit it obviously the, the, the Rayquaza could go for um, a Dragon Ascent But this is what I kind of wanted here. I wanted to be able to Allow my opponent to get the Mega Rayquaza out onto the field. So if we do lose Diggers B, we can bring in Ditto and we can have double Ray on the field and potentially double banded. Well, it would be double banded, one scarf, one banded. So yeah, Diggers B gonna go down. Which isn't ideal at all, but. It's fine. I think it makes it a bit more difficult though for us. Um, hmm, double intimidate there is not ideal at all. The fake out makes it very difficult for us to bring something in uh, here because. Yeah, the, the problem is, is our rear will get faked out and doubled into I think this next turn. Which possibly means losing Ditto, uh, but I don't really see another option here because I'm gonna I'm gonna switch into our Rayquaza with Infernape, and I'm gonna go for okay. Well, it's it's not banded at least. Um, we could Scarf Protect. Huh? Did we just Dragon Ascent? Let's just Dragon Ascent the Rayquaza. We got a Scarfed Mega Rayquaza, so. I just see us getting doubled into 100%. Oh no, wow. Okay, we're going to be able to get rid of that opposing Rayquaza. That's pretty huge for us. Uh, okay, I'm going to say Protect there. Wow. I'm going to get three Mega Rayquazas on the field at once. Uh, we'll go for the Dragon Ascent into the Finny. Um, I don't know if I leave the opposing Rayquaza like unchecked, but it's so obvious. I think that the the Incineroar comes in there. I could double the Finny though. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Good. Yeah, we're going to see the Incineroar come in. Uh, we've doubled the Finny, so I mean that that this should get rid of the Finny. And I think the other thing that we can try and do is get around the fake out by switching in in Inferno. Um, now a double Dragon Ascent here is going to be more than enough to get rid of the Finny. <laughs> this is ridiculous. We've got like two Rayquazas on the field. Okay. I mean, what, what do you do against this? Bye-bye, Finny. This is the best Finny check you'll ever see. Okay, I just want to close it out. I want to close the game out with these two. It's not going to be the easiest by any means. Um, so there's the Finny gone. This is the problem the next turn with the... Um, the Incineroar and the Double Up. And we're minus one as well, which isn't ideal. Xerneas coming out, okay.
right, we've got to keep our, I think what we'll do is we'll go for Infernip for our Rayquaza um, and we'll try and get um, some Dragon Ascent damage onto the opposing Xerneas. Remember the Incineroar can only fake out one one of our targets, so I'm hoping that it fakes out ours, presuming that it's ba the banded one. Okay, we're going to see. Xerneas just protect here, that's fine. Um, Dragon Ascent. U turn, this will be it back into the ray. Yep. I think we've got to make a bit of a play this next turn because I do feel like the Xerneas switches out to Incineroar. Um, so we could potentially faint. And go for the the Rayquaza there. Um, could we? Could we get? She said, "I don't want to be like." Huh. Yeah, and we're running out of PP there as well, so that's not ideal. Um, I think the thing that we could potentially do is switch in our banded Rayquaza here. We'll fake out the Xerneas because I want to prevent the um, the Geomancy. But if the Geomancy goes up, then at least we've got Ditto on the back to bring in. Okay, yeah, we are going to actually see that. Hopefully the Opposing Rayquaza just just goes for um, the Protect here to get around this potential fake out, double up into it. That's what my thinking would be. It doesn't! Oh, okay, and we're going to get punished for it. Where are you going? It's into our ray. Hmm. That's not ideal. Oh, we just take it. Just it's not great though, because we're in extreme speed range now. That's life orb ray. Hmm. Um. It's cost combat, incineral, and well, we can't. I mean, one thing we could potentially do is. Could go into Ditto with Infernape and lock ourselves into extreme speed on the opposing ray, but we're gonna get faked out, whatever here. I don't think you don't fake out our Rayquaza. It's just then we get the Intimidate onto the opposing ray. And we'll see what Incineroar can do for us. We know how good Incineroar is, so it's not ideal to be transforming into it, of course. Okay, yeah, we might actually get it then. We might get it. Maybe. If it hasn't went extreme... Well, it's going to be a speed... Oh, we lose the speed tie. Come on. Give me a break. Oh. I'm sad now. I'm very sad about this. Because we've just got a cat and a, and a, and a monkey. <laughs> oh... From two Mega Rays to a cat and the monkey. It's not good, is it? It's not good. Well, we've got Snarl, I guess. So we can we can Snarl our way through this a little bit. It's not really going to help, though. I think the Rayquaza probably switches out into Incineroar. I'm going to close combat that slot. Yeah. Okay. I think it's still going to be too much for us to actually deal with... Um, what we got, what my opponent's got left. Two very powerful restrictives. Okay, so the Xerneas is gonna go into protect there. Uh, we'll get the Incineroar. At least we make a little bit of a, a play here. It's not really gonna help us too much though, overall, I don't think. Because um, the Rayquaza comes back in, it's gonna be able to pick up the Incineroar. Uh, the Infernape, sorry. Uh, the only thing that we've got going for us is the Bright Powder at this point, uh, where we could Snarl. And overheat the Xerneas, or we could overheat and flare blitz the Xerneas, and maybe will that be enough? I don't think so, because our Incineroar is minus one, isn't it? So, yeah, um, hmm, Snarl and overheat, yeah, and I think we've got to hope that the Bright Powder like does some work here. Oh, it's into Incineroar. Hmm. Do we take this though? I don't think we do. Nah. Of 
Okay. I mean, we could win with bride powder. I mean, my opponent has to hit us to take us down. They could miss everything, and we could just... No, oh, we could just do that. <laughs> it all goes wrong. <laughs> all gone wrong. Okay. Very good game to my opponent. We had two tough opponents today. I think both matches were definitely winnable, though. Um, and there's just a few turns here and there, I think, where we could have went a little bit differently. But, I mean, it's really nice playing a lot of higher-ranked players as well, which is good. And hopefully that continues for the rest of the week. But we're so close. We're so close to getting some results there. Um, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I definitely have, and it's been thoroughly enjoyable. Um, obviously, I think the conflict in game one between the Mega Mewtwo X and then the Rayquaza was a bit conflicting. But that's all part and parcel of learning the new team I guess because literally I, I don't test these teams before I come into these episodes I literally just build them theory them think this could work and then dump them into the team and uh, then we jump on and just start recording so there's no testing time which there should be sometimes but I think with a series like this we don't really have much room for doing that doing new teams on a weekly basis anyway it is the end of the episode. We'll be back tomorrow. Remember, we've got our bonus buttons that we can activate. And I think I'm going to activate some of those bonus buttons tomorrow. So do let me know down in the comment section what ones you would like to see most of all. And uh, we'll look forward to doing that tomorrow. So uh, have a great afternoon, evening, morning, whatever time of day it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. It's been great as always, guys. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you for the next one. So until then, take care and bye.